It's big. It's big. It's big. It's big. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Georgia Bassmasters YouTube fishing channel. Today I wanted to give you guys my honest review and opinion of this Z-Man Jackhammer Chatterbait. Is it worth spending 16 to 18 dollars on? We're going to get into that, some of the details, specifications. Um, it's pretty brand new. As you can see, just a little bit of paint spilled off. Got a nice little trailer on there. It's kind of a natural uh, bait fish color 3 8 ounce and I'm also going to do a couple underwater shots of the action against just the original this right here is the original chatterbait it's got a little bit different tie on it that's one of the things that's different uh, a couple of the other things obviously the jackhammer has a painted blade the jackhammer has a nice uh, better looking colored painted head eyes it's got a gomakatsu hook on it um, it's supposed to be able to hunt better, uh, go side to side. The blade is supposed to start, is supposed to start acting, vibrating a little faster. You can tell the blade shape is just a little, not much. It's just a little different. Jackhammer is supposed to start vibrating a lot faster. Uh, the hookup ratio is supposed to be better. But I mean, is it worth an extra $10? So I went out to the lake, put it to the test. Um, before daybreak got here, I probably caught, I probably caught five bass before the sun even kind of come up on the jackhammer. And I threw the original a little bit, didn't have no bites, threw the jackhammer for whatever reason. I don't know if the vibration sound is different, if it sounds different underwater, um, but the fish really like, the fish really like it. I've always used the, uh, original the project z the elite series they're all great i'm going to leave it up to you guys on whether or not this chatterbait is worth 16 dollars. let's go ahead and get into the footage i'm going to show you the guys the underwater footage of the original chatterbait right here first all right so here is the original going down to the water you can see the vibrations i'm going to throw it back one more time go ahead and put a little slow-mo on this check it out look at the va the blade vibrations looks pretty good and one more cast right here. It, it does have a slower startup time. Next up, we have the jackhammer right here. We're gonna go ahead and look at some underwater footage of it. All right, so here's the jackhammer. And as you can tell, I went in and twitched it and the blade started right up. Here's a little slow-mo clip. If you can see how slow I'm reeling it right here and the blade's still working, I twitch it. The blade starts right back up. So it's a good, fast, fast working blade. It does have a little bit different of a vibration on it. So it's just for comparison's sake right here. Let's get back to the video. All right, guys, last but not least, let's get into some of these fish catches. I landed a couple of Mondos off this jack hammer. So I like it personally, just because if, it, if a lure catches me a big bass, the first time I ever use it, I'm gonna be addicted on it. So that was my first time ever throwing a jack hammer and I landed a giant. We'll see you guys at the end. I told you it was a big one. That's probably seven or eight right there. I told you. I, I hooked into it. I said, that's a big one. <laughs> you got a that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I gotta get an immediate weight on it. Seven four. It's a good one. Can't complain about that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I knew when that one bit, I said, uh-oh. <laughs> A few moments later. That 
Man. I was about to say, I was like, he smacked it. Oh, turn your motor off. Ah, that's why I was like wondering why were you with the casting out. All right, coming up at you. I got two piggies. Yeah. I got a seven four. And uh, what's this one? That was my first cast back out. Seven four and uh four five. Take these little ones out. I'm catching them like this. I'm taking these little ones out. It's funny, I'm taking the little ones out that are like two and a half, three pounds. <laughs> yeah, we can go way out there to the deep end, let it sink. They could always zip across. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's got to be big. Oh, man. Thought it was a Mondo. That's a large one. First one for your spinner bait. See if there's some more in there. Well, we probably got close to 15 pounds of three fish. Probably 14, somewhere in there. He hit it on the drop. I felt my line pulling. I would have had him real jet. I was letting it sink. <sighs> I found a stick down there while I was reeling him. They're all got some fat in their belly. Yeah. 2-4. Keep that in mind, I'll add up our total weight. The ones I threw back this morning were bigger than that one. Make sure there ain't no phrase on my arm. Yeah, you don't want to lose the jackhammer. There is a couple of slight ones. Uh oh, uh oh, on the jig, it's big, it's big, it's big, it's big, what is it though, oh my goodness dude, it's got to be bigger than the other one, if not a catfish, dude this is a monster, I don't know what it is, 
this is a bass that's over 10. Oh my goodness. Dude, this has got to be a catfish. Man, had me scared. I thought I had a 10 pound bass on. I mean, I could, but it's acting like a catfish. Oh, it's a cat. Man, I thought I had a dang giant bass on. I got a hook in the side or something. Yeah, it's so hard. It's so big. Woo! Man, you got me. Sideways hook boy. Oh, blue, right? On channel? It's a channel, ain't it? Channel. Well, I think that's the first channel cat I've ever caught on a jig. I thought I had a monster bass on me. Man, that sucks. I thought I had a dang double digit. Let's see what he weighs and I'll give him a release. Seven pounds even. My bass weighs more than you. Little channel cat going back in. Yeah. Think what the price that was. Of course, I had 80 pounds on. My pen threw it out, and it was still a fight. Man. I thought I'd unhooked a double digit. Yeah. You hit him in the side, boy. A 10 pounder hooked in the side like a 20. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we've caught so many catfish right here. Right here. Not catfishing. Yeah, man. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. If you stuck around to the end of the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, leave this video a like. Uh, really helps promote this channel and get videos like this more out there. And uh, until the next time, I got, a, I got a couple of different videos coming down the line for you guys. And until next time, we'll see you. Peace.